Today we're opening rare Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys? Today we're going to be opening three different sets of rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You guys have seen these before. We got them in a mail day. First edition Dark Crisis, first edition Pharaonic Guardian, and first edition Legacy of Darkness. This is going to be a pretty epic video. All old school, supposedly unweighed. I guess we'll find out, but we do have a giveaway real quick. I will be giving away this retro pack to ultra rare Hell Poemer, Hell Palmer, however you want to say it. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card we could pull from any of these packs Dark Crisis, Front of Guardian, and Legacy of Darkness. All right, guys, let's get into this epic opening. I want to remind you guys next Saturday, we're opening every 2007 10 ever made. It's going to be pretty awesome. Six tens in one video. We've done that with several other years, all the years before. Check the playlist out. I'll put it up there. Let's get into the opening. Okay, what do we start with? Let's start with a Pharaonic Guardian, I think. There's a lot of epic commons and rares in here, including Metamorphosis as a regular common. We've got Trap Dust Shoot as well. And then as in the rare slot, I think we have Book of Moon and some other really cool stuff. So the commons and rares really carry this set, but the Hell Palmer that we gave away from Retropack 2 is originally printed in this set. So we could pull it here. There's also some other cool stuff like Don Zalug and other cool cards. So I don't know what secret rare these would be. It'll be either Lava Golem or Ring of Destruction. Ring of Destruction would be really cool. So we've got a Timidity. Non-Aggression Area. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. Let's see. Ruxin Special 3 cards into the barrel behind the door. <laughs> okay, it's a super rare. So we can't be mad, but... Wow, that was a Ruxin Special if I've ever seen one. Three cards. So the back looks like it has a couple print lines. But overall, uh, centering, that's not terrible. It's a super rare. We've already pulled a foil out of these packs, which is a good start. A very, very good start. First edition, Pharaonic Guardian super rare. Rest of the pack could have some fire. Let's see. Swarm of Scarabs and Book of Taiyu. No metamorphosis in that one, but we do have Dark Crisis. You don't get to see first edition Dark Crisis open very often. I do have my unopened booster box back there just for fun. Okay. Exodia Necros would be incredible. Obviously, there's some other cool cards as well, like Skill Drain is a regular uh, rare in here. First edition would be probably worth like 20 bucks, which is crazy for a regular rare. We have a Staunch Defender. Archfiend's Roar. Thousand Needles. So there's a lot of Archfiend support in this, in this set. It's pretty cool. A lot of cool Archfiends. Shadow Knight Archfiend. There's one. And... Ooh, a Suki Yomi first edition. That's actually really cool. So it's one of the better rares in here. I'm mean, obviously a GOAT format. Um, not necessarily a staple, but used a ton in GOAT format. So one of the best cards you can get non-holo. That's a pretty good pull. The max rarity is the ultimate rare though. So it's not quite up there, but it's still really cool. Next, let's try a Legacy of Darkness. You guys know what we can get in here. Potential Yada or Injection Fairy Lily. I don't know which one. Then there's stuff like Tyrant Dragon. Of course, you have Mata Dragon, all those crazy awesome cards from here. Let's see if we can pull something cool. Last turn would be a cool one as well. We've got a bad reaction to Samochi. So uh, somebody had bad dinner there. We've got a Robo Lady. Serpentine Princess. Okay. Uh, honestly, doesn't really look like a princess to me. Looks more like, um, I don't know, creepy. Spirit Ryu. And a bottomless trap hole. Another cool card for like goat format. Fiend Comedian, Wolf Axe Blitter, Seeker to the Bandit, and Hunter with Seven Weapons. Yeah, this is definitely really cool. So that's actually awesome to see that. Bottomless trap hole is a regular rare. So if we're going to pull regular rares, let's pull some cool ones that are actually pretty decent for decks, you know. One of each so far. Not a bad start. We got one hollow and two epic rares. So let's go back into Pharaonic Guardian. Hopefully we can get some Metamorphosis because those are definitely some of the best cards. Trap Dash Shoot as well. Let's see. We've got the Yomi Ship, a classic Duel Links card. This was in like the second set ever in Duel Links. Giant Axe Mummy. Okay. Is he a five star? He's a five star, so he's not great. Gravekeeper's Vassal, another Duel Links staple for farming decks. Teuton Mask. We didn't Ruxin Special. Does that mean there's no hollow? Let's find out. Agora Turtle. Regular rare Gora Turtle. Call the Mummy in Pachi. So there's Burning in Pachi and all these other versions of him. So it's the original Pachi. Gravekeeper Spy, an incredible common, which is a great card, and sh the classic Shape Snatch. Everybody loves this card, so this is probably the best card in the pack, the Gravekeeper Spy. On to Dark Crisis. These packs are pretty expensive, but because they weren't necessarily out of a booster box, I didn't know exactly where they came from, I decided, you know what, 
let's just open them up and let's just see what's in here for myself. All right. We have the Shadow Knight Archfiend. We've seen him before. Pretty cool, though. Keldo. Can we get the Battle Scarred? Oh, Sakuratsu Armor First Edition. That's cool. Rod of the Mind's Eye. Methus the Infernal General. Okay, cool rare. Gravity Axe. Grarl. Get the Altar for Tribute. Iron Blacksmith's Kotetsu. And the Maju Garzet. On to Legacy of Darkness. We do have less Legacy of Darkness packs, so those will be probably, you know out earlier but maybe we'll save one for the end but let's see if we can pull something epic we have a patrician of darkness the five star legend a faint plan with the freed the matchless general yes the guy we pulled he's in this he's an ultra in the set skull knight number two dragon's rage pretty cool and the Dragon's Beat, a little bit of a shift on that name. That's pretty cool. It's shifted up a little bit. Nutrient Z, Warrior Die Gruffer. He's on a ton of artwork as well. Dragon Dwelling in the Cave and the Spirit Invitation. This is not the same dragon. I was wondering if that was, but it's not. Back to the Pharaonic Guardian. So far, only one foil pulled. So we're not looking too good. It is one every five-ish to pull a foil. So the rares or the ratios are not too great. Let's see if we can break ratio and get some good pulls. We've got a Secret Pass to the Treasure. All the Duel Links farming deck is in Veronic Guardian. Die Star is another good one. This is one worth a few dollars. There's a big one. Trap, Dust, Shoot. That's probably like an eight, nine dollar card. Gravekeeper's Curse. And will there be a foil? Ooh, a Gravekeeper's Watcher. I don't even remember this. I mean, I kind of remember him, but I guess he's not very good because I never see him in Gravekeeper decks. Disturbing Strategy. We got an Upside Down. Servant of Catabolism. That's a weird looking card. We've got a Gravekeeper's Guard upside down and the Hieroglyph lithogra Lithograph. I always remember this card for some reason. Okay, we are one for whatever. One for something so far. Maybe like six or seven. Let's see if we can break it. Can we get something good out of Dark Crisis? We've got the Gagagigo. Non-spell casting area. Ray of Hope. The Nintendog, aka the Nintendog, is playing your Nintendo DS. Ooh, and a Terror King Archfiend. We do have a super rare. Terror King Archfiend. That's not terrible. It's something. Terror King Archfiend, super rare. Pretty cool card. He has cool artwork. I like the Archfiend artwork. The Dark Crisis in general artwork is pretty cool. We get the Rod of Silence Chaos, Little Wind Guard, Arsenal Summoner, and the Battle Footballer. Perfect. For when you're seeing this on NFL Football Sunday. Here is our last Legacy of Darkness pack until probably the end. We're going to save one of each for the end, but here's our last one until then. Will we pull a secret rare? Bad reaction to Samochi. Robo Lady. Serpentine Princess. Spirit Ryu. And. Second coin toss, regular rare, Wolf Ox, Axe Wielder, The Secret of the Bandit, Hunter with Seven Weapons, and The Lizard Soldier. Two supers only so far. Can we get an ultra rare in one of these or even a secret rare would be incredible. Let's see if we can pull something out of Pharaonic Guardian. Grave Keepers of Assal, Teuton Mask, Time Eater, Needle Wall, okay, and... King Tiger Wang, who actually a pretty good goat card. I don't think I have a lot of copies of this, so I will probably throw this in my goat box where I build decks. Impachi, we're dealing with the Traveler. That's an annoying card. Shape Snatch and Needle Ceiling. This is a pretty good rare because as long as it remains, remains face up on the field, all monsters with attack equal to 1400 or less that are normal summoned or special summoned are automatically destroyed. So all those small flip guys, get them out of here. Dark Crisis First Edition. So far, we've gotten one foil out of here. Can we pull a second? Pandemonium. Sakuretsu Armor. Very good one. Rod of the Mind's Eye. Blindly Loyal Goblin. He's loyal, even though he's blind. Okay, that's not what that means. Dark Scorpion Combination as the regular rare. Little Wind Guard, Arsenal Summoner, The Battle Footballer, and Precious Cards from Beyond. Okay, cool, cool pack. Seven packs left in this opening. We are going to save that LOD for the end because we don't want to, you know, run out already. Can this Veronic Guardian provide us something epic? 
We have the Swarm of Locusts. Pyro Clock of Destiny. Different Dimension Capsule. Secret Pass of the Treasure. And... Winged Sage Falco. So we've got another regular rare Narrow Pass, Molten Behemoth, D Tribe, and the Bird Face. Look how OC these this back half of the commons are, especially Bird Face. Check him out. Huge on that side and then tiny on the others. That's hilarious. All right, Dark Crisis. We're trusting in you to bring us back. 18 total packs. So far, we've only gotten two foils. Ratio, we would have three to four. Ah. Battle scarred. That will bring us the luck. There we go. Acrobat Lunky. Lunky. Monkey. Thoughts Gay Samurai number two. Shooting Star Bow Seal. And we will get the Exodian Necros. Here we go. Shinado King of a Higher Plane. One of my favorite cards in the set. And check out that centering. That's pretty good. And the back looks pretty nice. It does have a couple of scuffs back there, but oh my goodness, what a nice card. One of my favorite cards from the set, if you guys don't know, I once traded for the Dark Revelation version of this. It was creased right down the middle. If you've seen my old deck, you've seen it. You can go check that out up there. I've never pulled this guy in first edition. I pulled him an unlimited reprint, but that's it. So this is one of the cards that I would love to pull out of Dark Crisis, and we just did. Check out that epic artwork. 3300 beater. I mean, how do you not like a 3300 beater back in 2004 or whatever this was? 2003, actually. No. Yeah, late 2003. So how do you not love a 3300 beater? That is so epic. One of my favorite cards you can pull. That that makes the opening for sure. I'm very happy we opened these. That's awesome. Rest of, the, of that amazing pack, we got the Deathstroke and the Guardian Chaist. I'm very happy with this opening now. One ultra rare, two supers, and it's the ultra rare that I cannot complain about. We've got some good rares. I mean, this has been a very good opening for sure. We did not make our money back, but that is okay. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you got to have fun with it. Time Eater. Needle Wall. A Cat of Ill Omen. A very interesting card. The Reasoning. That's a pretty good card in some decks. Another Wing Sage Valkos. He keeps appearing. Royal Keeper, Pyramid Energy, and Bottomless Shifting Sand. Where are those metamorphosis guys? If you guys remember in the every 10 opening for 2004, I think, we had Pharaonic Guardian. We pulled like three metamorphosis out of six packs. Well, so far we pulled zero, so the ratios are evening out. All right, Dark Crises. Here we go. I mean, amazing Dark Crisis packs. Shinado. I've now pulled Exodia Necros and Shinado, which is incredible. Those are the cards that I've, you know, that I really like. Dark Scorpion. We've got a Fairy of the Spring. DD Trainer. Agito and Ooh, a skill drain first edition dark crisis the best rare in the set that's a very good pull i'm very happy with that it's probably better than a lot of the supers to be honest that is super awesome or should i say rare awesome okay that was bad <laughs> on on to the next one zolga Deathstroke archfiend guardian chaos and the checkmate Woo, three more packs let's start off with the legacy of darkness because it has been a while very happy with this opening so far. Anything else is a cherry on top. We're obviously still hoping for more, but you know, we're we're already content. Let's continue into Legacy of Darkness. Frontier Wiseman. So far, no pulls here. Possessed Dark Soul. Super Rejuvenation. Uchi no Tori. And Sousa Soldier. Got another shifted name, so it seems like they're shifted. Illusory Gentleman. A Legendary Ocean, Robayaru, and Fiend Comedian. Nothing in the Legacy of Darkness. Still got two more chances in the other packs. All right. Bayronic Guardian. Let's go. It's been okay to us. One super. Some decent rares. Can it bring us an epic rare to an epic foil, I should say. Hopefully not a rare. Charm of Shops. We've got the Pyro Clock of Destiny. Can we get a Metamorphosis as well? Different Dimension Capsule. Swarm of Locusts, a pretty strong card if you're uh, playing that flip deck. Here we go. What is it going to be? Why is it the same rare as Gorit's Hurdle? We got the Bird Face, the legendary Bird Face, Rite of Spirit. Terraforming, that's a pretty good one. Oh, and there it is, the last card of the pack. Last two actually were pretty good, so that's not a bad pack with that Metamorphosis in there. Okay, ended out pretty good for Pharaonic Guardian. Final pack of the opening. Dark Crisis has been absolutely incredible. Let's see what it can end off with. 
can end off with a Necros. We have Dark Scorpion Manet the Thorn. Arsenal Rubber. Dark Scorpion Gorg the Strong. Fairy of the Spring. And Infernal Queen Archfiend. Okay, Infernal Queen Archfiend almost rhymes. Goblin of Greed, Archfiend's Oath, and Vile Pawn Archfiend. Okay. Pretty good, though. Pretty good overall. That wraps it up for this epic old school first edition opening. If you did enjoy the video, like it and subscribe for more content because we have more epic old school openings on the way, as well as some other awesome stuff. Before we end the video, I have to shout out my ultimate supporters on Patreon and YouTube. We have TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Fosho, Tomato Jews, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for the support. And that's it for this one. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!